Okay, good evening. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, guys. I hope you're doing well. This is Teacher Sam. And uh, I think. Yeah, let's wait for the members to join. I think we're going to have to change the time of the live because now it's the praying time. It's the Isha praying time and uh, many people are going to tell me ask me to change it yes and i think i don't know uh it's very confusing after ramadan if i make it at 9 30 it's very late for some people in europe morocco but if i make it at nine then it's the praying time yeah so what should we do I think we should make it at 8.30, it's going to be better. And you will see, we will see, we will see. Good evening, Uthman, Fida, Khadija, Nora, hi. Yeah, I know, I know. It's the same thing as, you know, like before before Ramadan, it was the same. But I'm thinking I can do it so We used to start at 9.30, you know. But some people felt it's very late, especially living outside of of uh, China. No, outside of Morocco. <laughs> yeah, I'm just talking about China, you know. You want to keep it 9.30 again? اي غضبوا علي الناس الجاليه المغربيه will be angry share in a group yes where is that group it's here yeah 9:30 is convenient but you know in france i think next next week it's going to be better because this sunday they will they will they will uh, we will go back to the daylight saving time so um, we will just have a few uh, maybe one hour difference with friends and maybe uh, two hours I don't know it's not so it's not gonna be I think a big difference between France and Spain between Morocco and France Spain Germany you know European countries yes mm-hmm So look, I will do a poll in the group. Gandir wahed sondage for the group. Okay, I will do a poll in uh, in the group, and I will put eight thirty or nine thirty. Okay, so I will put eight thirty or nine thirty, and then we will see because there are people not in Morocco; they are elsewhere in Europe, in um, in European countries. There are even some people in the U.S. I have no idea how they are following Canada also. So uh, we will. I will make a poll uh, or a vote, voting post, and uh, I hope you can vote. And let's see, because I, I'm trying to satisfy all of you. How much is you come So I will try to satisfy all of you and make it, you know, at a good time. Because if it's uh, uh, very late, if it's 10 or 10:30 in Morocco, then it's going to be very late in Europe. So people now, because of there is no Ramadan anymore, so people have have to go to sleep. And uh, you know, so I'm gonna make a poll, and uh, we will try to vote for either uh, 9:30, 8:30, or 9:30. Okay, let's do this. So between, it's either it's gonna be either 9:30 or 8:30. Okay, yeah, and then we will we will uh, decide. I will change the schedule. Okay, I will change the photo leaders. So the photo I'm going to change, and change the time. So I will change the schedule and put a new time for the classes. And I think it's not going to be 9 p.m. anymore. It's going to be either 8.30 or 9.30. Okay? Yeah. So we can satisfy all of you. Yes. I'm getting some angry reactions. Really? <laughs> Who is angry there? Really? Why are you angry? Don't be angry, you know? 
I am hungry, I'm not angry, you know. <laughs> yes, so this is, try to tag the members who are not here. And, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so try to tag the members, share with them the live. And we shall continue with Unit 9 today. Um, I think it's a class live. Uh, it's not a practice, of course. And, uh, yes, so we will continue now the second part of elementary level. We already finished the first part of the elementary level, which was, uh, which had, we had eight units from Unit 1 to Unit 8. So now we're going to continue from Unit 9 to Unit 16, okay? And once we finish, then we are done, and goodbye. I'll see you in the next life. Okay, no, I'm not just joking. Okay, I'll, uh, we'll finish with the elementary level. Yes, and then we will go to the uh, next level, which is, um, let's call it the uh, pre-intermediate level. Yes. Intermediate level. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, according to the series, it doesn't say pre-intermediate, it says... So we'll have level 2 and level 3. So we already finished the intro level, introduction level, in the intro level. Now we'll have level 1. We're almost, we are half way, half the way through, half way, or half the way through the um, uh, elementary level. Then we will move to the, uh, which is level 1. Then we'll move to level 2 and level 3. After that we'll go to another series to go to the uh, intermediate and even upper intermediate advanced level yes to, to more advanced levels of English yes I shared the live in the group already yes hi Roa how are you <laughs> yes no, no I'm not gonna say goodbye don't worry yes <laughs> I'm still here with you all of, maybe forever you know yes but I hope in the future I'll be able to make lives every day even though it's very it's not easy so let's see. But not right now, since we still have time, so we can do it. We can keep continue or like continue to do the lives every day. And if you cannot attend, you can always come back and see the live. Of course, I keep it saved in my on my profile on my Facebook profile. Yeah. Okay. Hi, I want to speak English as soon as possible. There is a possibility. Mariam, join my Instagram. You know, Instagram live. Saturday. Let's see. Okay, let's meet Saturday. It's just after tomorrow, I think. Yeah, it's after tomorrow. Saturday for speaking. <laughs> now we have some kids at home. You know, I have my niece and nephew. They are very noisy. So, let's see. We start, shall we start? I think, yeah, let's go ahead and start. Yeah, keep, uh, try to tag the members. Live, try to share the live. Yes. Mr. Saidi, where did you learn English? Share with us your experience. Let's do it in another live, okay? I learned English at the university for six years. Three years in a BA program and then uh, two years in a master's program. Yes, okay, so let's go ahead and start. So today's unit is called, yeah, it's called, what? It's called, what does she look like? Okay, it's unit nine and it's called, what does, it's very easy, what does she look like? Deja dana la question, okay, yani, antraha bin sura, she had, yani, you know, it's different from what does she like, okay? So if we just take off these looks, it's going to be different question. So we say, when we say, what does she like, you know, what do you like, what does he like, means he likes something, he likes football, he likes sports, he likes food, he likes pizza, but if you say, what does she look like, then you're asking about physical or people's appearance, okay, so I'm asking you about people's appearance, I'm asking you to describe someone's appearance, okay, l'apparence physique, madha, so, this is what we're going to learn. We're going to learn how to describe people's physical appearance first. So how can we describe people's physical appearance first? And second, we're going to try to identify, identify people by describing how they look 
doing. Okay. Okay. So again, identify means find out those people, like to find which people we're going to talk about. And of course, by describing their how they look like, how they look, and what they are doing, their actions, okay, what they are doing. You see? So this is our objective. Let's see. We're going to start by physical appearance, okay? We're going to start with some vocabulary, okay? Physical appearance vocabulary. <clears throat> Donc, pour une description de l'apparence, we have different things to describe, okay? To describe appearance, we have different aspects, les aspects, okay? Different aspects to describe. So, we can describe hair, we can describe age, and we can describe looks. Also, we can describe height. Be careful, this one is height, not hate. Can dire que vous avez un problème, vous avez un hate. It's called weight, you know, spell the same weight, W E I G H T, but this one is not pronounced, pronunciation is different. So we say height, not hate. So height, this is height. The other one is weight. How much do you weigh? What is your weight? What is your height? Okay, height. Yeah, so we're going to talk about some, or we're going to learn some words. These are some words we have some, with some pictures about. Hair and age, also looks and also height. Okay, it's okay. You don't need to apologize for not uh, doing the test, it's okay. We just did the test correction. All right, so let's see the hair. So, to talk about hair, okay, to talk about hair. So look here, we have, let's see, laser, yeah, so we have here, for example, this is long brown hair, oh, you may tell me it's not brown, it's black, anyways, it looks a little bit brown, so long brown hair, long brown hair, so it's long and brown color hair, this one, just try to say them, okay, try to say them, how to say them, Pronunciation. Focus on pronunciation. So again, long brown hair. Then we have short blonde hair. Short blonde hair. Okay. You see, short and blonde. Then we have straight black hair. Straight. You see, his her hair is straight. Like this kid, you know, his hair is straight, you know. So, she has straight black hair. The difference between straight, we have curly. Curly. Yeah, boucle, we can go. Okay, curly, like, you know. Yeah. Okay. So, curly. Curly red hair. Right, so here look, we have three types actually. We can talk about straight hair, straight, like you know, like straight, it's straight, you know. We can have wavy, they don't have it here, man. Don't tell me now. You can talk about wavy, wavy, okay. So, wavy hair, wavy, how do you spell it? W A V Y. So, wavy, it's like waves, you know, wavy hair. So her hair is wavy, mostly for women, you know, because it's long. So her hair is wavy. But also we can say her hair is curly. Okay, this is curly. So if you have very like twisted hair laces, so that's a curly. Okay, so straight, wavy, okay, and curly. Got it? Yes? Remember again? Straight. Okay, this is straight. I don't have any hair to show you. And then we have wavy. Okay. And then we have curly. Okay. Yeah. Don't care. Boucle, wavy or curly. We don't know. Maybe boucle. 
bouclier <laughs> curly or maybe it's uh, wavy yeah so remember that straight and then we can say also wavy and then we can say curly okay between so wavy is between straight and curly all right yeah so straight black hair and then we have curly red hair yeah <clears throat> wavy Mustafa spelling let me type them okay so straight be careful with spelling and then we have uh, wavy and then we have uh, curly yeah here is the comment check it in the comments yes I will pin this comment you can check it yes all right, then we have bold, okay? Be careful how to pronounce this, bold, okay? It's not bald or whatever, it's bold, it means no hair, okay? He is bald, okay? We say he has no hair, this person has no hair, so he is bald, bald. And it's different from bold, B-O-L-D. B-O-L-D, the same pronunciation, but we can go to bold, B-O-L-D, bold, bold, but it's a different meaning. Okay, so bald. This one means he doesn't have any hair. Okay? Bald. Alright? Then we have a moustache and a beard. Okay. A moustache and a beard. Okay? Beard. Don't say bread. That's different. So beard and a moustache. Okay. Now let's go to the age. So age is very easy. We can say someone is young. Of course. Someone is uh, middle-aged. Okay. Middle-aged. Or we say elderly. Okay. Don't call people old, you know, people who are a more like grandfathers, whatever, like parents, don't tell them, don't say they are old. Old people. It's not a good word. No, sheriff. Don't say that. So we say elderly, okay? Elderly, and a kibir flash. Okay? Aji. The person aji. So elderly. Alright, so we have again young. Then we have middle aged. <clears throat> and then we have elderly. Elderly. Yeah. Very good. Then we have looks. How people look like. So we have handsome. Maybe some people say, oh, he's not handsome. Okay. So handsome. We seem, you know. We don't pronounce the D. Be careful. So it's handsome. Don't say handsome. So it's not handsome, it's handsome. So handsome. Then we have good looking. Alright. Good looking. And then we have a pretty. Okay. Or pretty, if you want to make it like very easy to pronounce. Pretty or pretty. right or beautiful you can say also beautiful 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 okay remember pretty or beautiful are for women and the handsome is for men so we don't say handsome for women and we don't say pretty for men we don't say he is pretty no so we say she is pretty she is beautiful he is handsome okay and we can say good looking for both so they are good looking. He is good looking. She is good looking. All right. You can check the song. Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? How about cooking something up for me? Anyways, then we have height. Okay. Height. <clears throat> so we have uh, short, of course short or maybe very short person
fairly short <clears throat> fairly short fairly means like a little bit short okay just a little bit medium height معين ما طويله ما قصيره متوسطه متوسط الطول medium height then we have pretty tall okay pretty tall pretty tall a little bit tall you can say that you can say quite tall a bit tall a little bit tall and then of course we have very tall very tall right yeah don't say dwarf dwarf jalila is a very uh, offending word no <laughs> dwarf hala you know don't say dwarf dwarf if you tell someone dwarf is like you know you are offending them okay so if you say to someone dwarf no no you can even short you cannot tell someone you are very you are short you know so this is just to describe appearance you can say uh, he is blah 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 he is short or he's fairly short or a little bit short you know you know it's better to make it like this you know like a little bit short a little bit tall you know like this she is a little bit short you know she's um, a little bit fat if you want to say fat also fat thin try it always to add a little bit you know a little bit fat a little bit thin you know yeah she's, she's over over oversized or something don't, don't don't just go straight to the word and say short she is short she is fat he is fat he is short no that's not a good way to describe people okay people will be angry at you yeah so again one last time very quickly hair we have long brown hair <clears throat> short blonde hair straight black hair curly red hair bald a mustache and a beard then age we have young middle-aged elderly and for our looks we have handsome good-looking pretty or pretty if you want to be British, whatever. Height. We measure the measure the I always save the life. Can stop guardian dima. Let's go to the profile daily. Go back down. Go down. You will find many many classes. Let's go to the profile. Let's go to the class. Bizarre. Dima can stop guardian. Tabit hal. We can do your idol. Tamara can. We don't need to waste it. Yes. So height again. Height. I said height. The reason. The word. The word. The word. Weight. Very good. Height and weight. So I have short, then fairly short, then we have medium height, and then we have pretty tall. Pretty, I have a problem with this. And this is the pretty, 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 you know. So pretty tall, pretty tall, very tall. Yes. Okay. Yeah, let's go to our conversation yeah it's called she's so pretty okay she's so pretty she's so beautiful okay so it's a conversation between Lauren and Justin Lauren and Justin okay let's see so let's listen to it and let's discuss it yeah unit 9 what does she look like page 59 exercise 2 Conversation. She's so pretty. Part A. Listen and practice. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Justin. Yes, her name's Tiffany. She's really smart, and she's so pretty. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About five foot ten, I suppose. Yeah, that is pretty tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful brown hair. And how old is she? I don't know. I think it's a little rude to ask. 
Mm -hmm. Really? All right. She's your girlfriend, and you cannot ask her how old is she? Are you sure? All right. Let's see. So Lauren, I think this is Lauren. This is his uh, girlfriend. Okay. So let's see. He's, uh, no, Justin, of course. Justin is his girlfriend. Yeah. So Lauren asked him. I hear. I hear means I. I hear. I hear. I. I, I know. Okay. And it's match. Okay. Semicho. So I hear you have. Justin, I hear you have a new girlfriend, Justin. Yeah. And he said, yes. Her name's Tiffany. She's really smart. Okay, smart or intelligent. Intelligent. Okay. And she's so pretty. I don't like this word. She's so pretty. Yeah. Lauren, she said, what does she look like? You see, she's asking him, what does she look like? Let's underline this. So what does she look like? Yeah. What does she look like? Yeah, Justin? Well, she's very tall. Mm -hmm. And she asked him, how tall? How tall? And then he said, about 5 foot 10. That's when you say, what's this 5 foot 10? It's here. هذا هو القياس ديال امريكا دي دي ميجور باي فيت يو نو كيشوفو هما بالقدم ماشي بالسنتيمتر دونك سو كيقولو خمسة الاقدام و عشرة انش القدم والانش اوكي سو 5 فوت 10 فوت اوكي فيت 5 فوت 10 اي سبوز اي سبوز مينز اي ثينك يو نو اي سبوز اند شي تولد هيم يا ذات ذات از بريتي تول what color is her hair? Okay, what color is her hair? Mm -hmm. And he said, she has beautiful brown hair. Okay. She has beautiful brown hair. Yeah. Lauren. And how old is she? And then he said, I don't know. I think it's a little rude to ask yeah rude rude means like not respectful okay okay so not very respectful to ask yeah of course you should know no don't ask women about their age you know so in my lives classes for example you can you can see i don't i if i ask you to introduce yourself as a female you tell me your age is fine but i will never ask you like so how old are you if you are a little girl then no problem you know but for women or like females it's not good to ask them how old they are, you know, in Morocco, maybe it's fine, but in uh, English, like uh, England or the, the US or something, it's rude to say to a woman, how old are you? It's a little bit rude, not very rude, okay? So it's okay. Yeah, in some other countries, it's okay to ask. So he said, I think it's a little bit rude or a little rude to ask. Yes. Now let's listen. Yeah, that was the conversation. Now let's listen to the rest of the conversation. And what else do you learn about Tiffany? Okay, let's see. شنو غتعرفوا عليها من بعد؟ So, عرفنا بأنها she is... Well, what did we learn already? شنو عرفنا ديجا؟ She's beautiful. She's smart. She's very tall. About 5 foot 10. Okay. Brown hair. And we don't know how old is she. Yeah. So, let's see now. Let's see. Let's listen, and what else do you learn about her? Listen and tell me. Page 59. Look Exercise 2. Look at her. Part B. And learn. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else do you learn about Tiffany? So, you don't know her age? No, but I don't really care. Okay. Well, how old do you think she is? Who knows? I think she's in her 30s. And how old are you? I'm 29. Oh, cool. So she's older than you. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay, one more time. Yeah. Page 59. Exercise 2. Part B. Listen to the... What else do you learn about Tiffany? So you don't know her age? No, but I don't really care. Okay. Well, how old do you think she is? Who knows? 
I think she's in her 30s. And how old are you? I'm 29. Oh, mm. cool. So she's older than you. Okay. So he's, she said, listen. You learn about Tiffany. Oh, but I don't really care. Again? No, but I don't really care. Yeah, he said, I don't really care. She said, you don't know her age. And he said, I don't really care. Okay. Well, how old do you think she is? Who knows? I think she... How old? She asked him, how old do you think she is? How old? How old do you think? You know, how old is she? And then he said, I think she's in her 30s. Okay? 30s. 30s. Okay? Okay, so she's in her. We say this, you know. I'm in my 20s, for example. Or I can say I'm in my late 20s. Okay, so I'm in my late 20s. And next year, maybe in two years, I will be in my early 30s. Okay, so she's in her 30s. Remember this, ex this expression. You can say, I think he is in his, in his, in his 30s. Okay. In his 20s, in his 40s, okay, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, all right? So you can say this. I think she's in her 30s or 40s or 60s, okay? Yeah. So he said she's in her 30s. Listen again. Yes. Who knows? She's in her 30s. Yeah, and he said a good expression. He said, who knows? Like, who knows? You know, like, I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, it's gonna happen. Okay, who knows? Like I don't know. Okay, who knows? And how old are you? I'm 29. Oh, cool. So she's older than you. Oh, cool. She's older than you. Yeah, he said she's 29, and she said, "Oh, cool. She's older than you." Yes. Let me type it. Yes, she's in her. 30s. Yes, that's how you say it, for example. Let me pin the comment. Yes. Alright, guys. So, you see, this is one conversation about Tiffany. And let's see. So, let's learn now how to describe people. Now, let's learn some language. Okay. The vocabulary. We saw just some words. Now, let's put them into expressions. Okay. So, here we have some questions and answers about describing people okay describing people ikhwan guys ma kitlaouch li li reaction dialkom fli commentaire ma arfti alash shnu waqa j'espère wash kitshoufou le commentaire li dert ah safi waqa li kitshoufou you can see it i hope you can see my comment yeah all right so we have now describing people first Okay, yeah. I don't know. We have no idea. Yes, see, I We don't know, Mr. Glory. We have no idea. You know. <laughs> yeah, it's just you know, it's all over. Whenever you go, you know, they always like feel like the woman should be younger than the man. You know, but it's fine. You know, the woman can be older than the man. No problem. You know, it's just age. Remember, age. They say one expression you say in English. It's the same English expression. Age is just a number. Okay, age is just a number. Yeah, that's it. Also, okay, age is just a number, right? Okay, so general appearance. Now, how to describe people? So first, we can ask a question about general appearance. When so I say, "What does she look like?" Okay, what does she look like? Or what does he look like? What does she look like? So we have she's tall with brown hair and she's pretty. Listen, delay to tall man, pretty, 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 pretty. I don't know. She she's tall with brown hair. She's pretty. Okay. So what does she look like? Now we have does he wear glasses? No, he wears contacts. You know glasses. So for example, these are glasses. Yes. You know. Glasses and these are contacts here, you know, contacts. 
You know contacts? They are my contact lenses. They are my the lentilles. Okay. Contact lenses. Contact. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm not scaring you with my face very close to the camera. Yeah. Contact lenses or contacts. Yes, contact lenses. So does he wear glasses? No, he wears contacts. So this is general appearance. L'apparence en général. So what does she look like? Give us data. She's tall, toila with brown hair, marron, shardiella. She's pretty, zwina, beautiful. Okay, nice. Now we have height, not height. Okay, height. After the height, I did a tira. كانت لاصقه ليا كنت في ال... ما نكذبش عليكم غنقول لكم واحد الحاجه كنت في الماستر اوكي يعني درت ديجا 3 سنين ديال لونغلي و بروميير اني ماستر و وقيلا سمعتها في شي بلاصه غالطه باش نعاود نشارك معكم هذه القصه هذه سمعتها من نهار الاول سمعتها راه خايبه هذه كتسمى ميس برونونسيشن كتعلم واحد الكلمه النطق ديالها غالط صافي ملي كتعلموا غالط كيلصق لك في الدماغ صافي انا تعلمتها غالطه ما عرفتش فين سمعتها و سمعتها هيت ولا قريتها وقيلا هيت جات بحال ويت ويت هيت بقات لاصقه ليا انا دونك بروميير اني ماستر وفين ما كنشوف هذه الكلمه كنبغي نقراها في وسط تيكس بالزرب انا غادي غادي كنوصل لها كنقول نو هايت 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 اوكي انا هيت اه نو هايت يو نو خدات لي شي ربع شهور عاد حيدت ديك البرونونسيون هيت اي توك ات اوت اوف ماي مايند وعاد انستاليت البرونونسيون ديالها صحيحه اللي هي هايت اوكي دونك شنو النصيحة؟ دونك ما تحاولوا ما تعلموش شي بروسيسيون غالطة ولا تأكدوا من لا بروسيسيون يعني جوجليها وحاول تسمعها راه جوجل كاين هاديك لوبسيون كتبها في جوجل ترادكسيون سمعها باش تأكد منها حيت إلا تأنستاليت بروسيسيون ديالها غالطة صافي غتبقى كتأنستالها ما تبغيش تحيد إت ويل نيفر تيك إت أوف إت ويل مانثس تو تيك إت أوف شهور باش تحيدها تو تيك أوف ذات بروسيسيون تراي نوت تو ليرن رونغ بروسيسيون Okay, that's the that's the advice here. So, how tall is she? She's one meter seventy-eight. Okay. And we have she's five foot ten. Where are you, teacher? I'm in Morocco. I'm in Rabat. I'm in with my in my family's house. <laughs> so she's one meter seventy-eight, and she's five foot ten. Now we have how tall is he? His medium height. Okay, so this is for height. All right. Now we have hair. How long is her hair? We ask about hair length. Okay, length. So long. How long? How long is her hair? It's pretty short. All right. And what color is his hair? It's dark or light brown. Remember the color so you can go ahead and describe it. It's dark brown, light brown, it's blonde, it's black, it's gray, white, maybe blue, maybe pink, okay? Or we can say also she has, okay? It's da 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 da, or he has, she has brown hair, for example. Yeah. And then we have age. So of course we say, how old is she? How old is he? Yeah. How old is she? She's about 32. She's about 32. Or she's in her 30s. Yeah. And how old is he? He's in his 20s. Okay. He's in his 20s. Okay. Now for heights, look. For heights, we had a Okay. Saying heights. So is in the US, in the US, in America, in the US, they really use feet. So they would say five foot ten. We can just say five ten, no problem. Because we're five ten. 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 Or you can say five foot ten inches tall. 
Remember, we always add tall. It's, it's not very important, but we have to say it sometimes, you know? So she's 5 foot 10 inches tall. Or we do it like this, 5, 10. So 5 foot 10 inches. Okay? And Kamel, we say I am, not I have. Very good. I am 1.82 meters. Very good. Yes. I am 1.66, by the way. You know, I'm very short. Yes. I'm really short. I'm not a very tall person. Or maybe I'm medium height. It's okay. Yeah, met now the metric, the metric measures. I do the metric, any meter, okay? So the metric measures, the metric units, metric units. So we have one meter, 78 tall. So you see, one meter, 78. So like, uh, Kamel, so you can say, I am one meter, 82. Okay, how it's, I am one meter, like this, 1 meter 78, 1 meter 66. Or you can say it with centimeters, you can say 178 centimeters. Okay, 178 centimeters. All right? Okay. Yeah, I hope it's clear. Let's go ahead. Maybe we can listen to it very quickly. Yeah, let's listen. Page 59. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Describing people. General appearance. Mm -hmm. What does she look like? She's tall with brown hair. She's pretty. Does he wear glasses? No, he wears contacts. Height. How tall is she? She's 1 meter 78. She's 5 foot 10. How tall is he? He's medium height. Hair. How long is her hair? It's pretty short. What color is his hair? It's dark brown. It's light brown. Age. How old is she? She's about 32. She's in her 30s. How old is he? He's in his 20s. Okay. Saying heights. I'll say in heights. U.S. Tiffany is 5'10". See, 5'10". Tiffany is 5'10". Tiffany is 5'10". Mm -hmm. Tiffany is 5'10". Tall. Mm -hmm. Tiffany is 5'10". All the options. Metric. Tiffany is 1 meter 78 tall. Tiffany is 1 meter 78. Tiffany is 178 centimeters. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mohammed, you asked me about weight. Yes. For weight, we say. She, she is blah blah blah. She is 178, 160, you know, one meter, blah blah blah. You know, don't worry about We're not using them. We can say them in all general. Okay, so we use meters and centimeters. So just say one meter blah 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 centimeters or one hundred da 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 centimeters. Yes. For weight, we use we say question. Excuse me. Sorry. We say how much do you weigh? How much do you weigh? Okay, let me put it here. And this is a verb, by the way, it's not a, a noun, okay? I weigh, for example, you can say 64, 64 kilograms, or kilograms, like this, you see? For example. You're, telling me, you're going to tell me I'm very thin, maybe. I don't know. I have no idea about my weight. I didn't check for a long time. So, you see it there? How much do you weigh? 
How much do you weigh? That's a verb. I weigh 64 kilograms. Okay, 64 kilograms. You can say I weigh. Da -da -da -da. Okay, yes, that's it. You can say also uh, I'm heavy or I'm light, I'm thin or I'm fat. No problem. That, that's general. But normally, this is the question How much do you weigh? I weigh. I weigh. Hassan? I did, uh, glory. Mr. Glory. I weigh. Not I wait. Yes. I wait. So I weigh. Weight is the noun. Weigh is the verb. Okay. Can you weigh this for me? So can you weigh this rice for me? Can you weigh this uh, this bread for me? Okay. Can you weigh it, please? Okay. Yeah. These vegetables. Can you weigh these tomatoes or these potatoes or these um, bananas for me? Okay. Can you weigh it? All right. Yeah. تفكر ملي كنكون في لاشين كنكون في السوبر مارشي وكنبغي نعبر في السوبر مارشي وكنمشي عند هذيك كنقول لها كان يو ويت فور مي وهي راه شي هاز نو ايدي وراه متوكينغ اه كتشوفني هاز انا باغي نعبر يا كان يو ويت فور مي يس اوكي سو ليتس سي سو ليتس دو ذيس اكزرسايز رايت كويستيونز تو ماتش ذيس ستيتمنتس اوكي Then let's see. We'll compare, not compare. Yeah. So look at the answers, and we need questions here, guys. So remember our questions very quickly. We have what does she look like? Does he wear glasses? How tall is she? How tall is he? How long is her hair? What color is his hair? And how old is she? How old is he? Very good. So let's see. Mm, way way is a mm, way is a is a mm, way weighed i weighed it okay okay i weighed all right so there is no it's not irregular mais c'est irrégulier donc z elle est ed dans le passé in the past so i weighed did you weigh the, did you weigh the bananas yes i weighed them yes i weighed them okay yes so it's past yeah All right, not weighted. Don't say weighted, okay? Yeah. So look, we have my father is 52. Yeah. Very good, Sukina. How old is your father? That's the question. So question number one is how old is your father? Or how old is he? We can say how old is he, but it's weird. I don't know. You know, so my father, of course. So how old is your father? How old is your father? My father is 52. Number two, I'm 167 centimeters or five foot six. <laughs> so I am 167 centimeters. So the question is, so we're talking about height. Tall. Question is, how tall are you? Yes. Remember here we have, how tall is she? So here, of course, we should say, how tall are you? So how tall are you? I am 167 centimeters tall. Okay. Now, my cousin has... Red hair. My cousin has red hair. Okay. So remember, question here. What color is his hair? Yes, we can say that. Or we can say, what color is... So my cousin has red hair. So of course it should be, what color is your cousin's hair? What color is your cousin's hair? All right. Then we have, no, he wears contact lenses. Okay. How tall are you? Okay. Yes. So, we have, no, he wears contact lenses. 
So we're asking him, does he? No, he wears contact lenses. So of course it should be, does he wear glasses? No, no, no. Does he wear glasses? Yeah. So it's like this one. No, what did I do? It's like this one. Does he wear glasses? Where is, she? Where is it? Does he wear glasses? No, he wears contact lenses. The same. So does he wear glasses? Mm -hmm. Ah, cousin, by the way, cousin, you need, guys, apostrophe S. Can you say apostrophe S? Dear possessive. Mohammed, very good, Mohammed. What color is your cousin's hair? So, no, he wears contact lens. So, does he wear glasses? No, he wears. He wears. You see, Ipchisam, did he wear his glasses? No, no, no. Not did he, because we're not talking about past. So, we have wears, simple present. So, no, he wears contact lenses. Then we have he's tall and very good looking. He's tall and very good looking. So this is general appearance. L'apparence en général. So we're going to say, what does he look like? Okay. What does he look like? He's tall and very good looking. Okay. So what does he look like? He's tall and very good looking. Mm hmm then we have my sister's hair is medium length. Be careful with this one. I can cover length. Okay, length. Look at me. Length. Okay, length. Length. All right. So don't pronounce it length. Length. All right. Or GHT is very strange to pronounce here, but it's length. Some people say length. You know, it's length. Length. Okay. My sister's hair is medium length. So, my sister's hair is medium length. Tall, okay? So, we're asking about her hair, if it's long or not. So, we need to use the question. Mm -hmm. How long is her hair? Very good, yes. So, how long is her hair? How long is her hair? My sis... No, no, not her. How long is your sister's hair? Very good. How long is your sister's hair? My sister's hair is medium length. Very good. And then we have, I have dark brown eyes. You see, so we're talking about eyes here. I have dark brown eyes. So the question should be, what color is, not is, are you sure? Eyes. So it's R, plural. So what color are your eyes? Yes. What color are your eyes? Okay. So what color are your eyes? I have dark brown eyes. All right. Okay, I hope it's clear. It's very easy. Yeah, it was easy questions and easy answers. Yes, let's keep going. Yeah, let's go and do a listening. Okay, let's do a listening. So it's called Which One is Justin? Okay. So listen, now let's listen to descriptions of six people. How much my description? There's six people. We have six people here. You see them? Yep. And number them from one to six. Okay, how can you remember them? How can we do this exercise? I think we will just try to, you know, I don't know. Yeah, let's listen first. Okay, let's listen. Can you tell me? Let's say this is one. Okay, guys, look. One, two, three, four, five, six. You tell me which one is being described. Which number? Let me put numbers on them. Okay, guys? Yes. So, I will try to... Put numbers on them. So let's say this is number one. I'll just write some very weird numbers here. Let's put them here, okay? One. Here, let's say this is number two. It's very hard to do it with a mouse. As you say, it's a bit sorry. So contact it. Three. Oh, yeah. This is number four. Oh, God. Yes. Okay, fine. 
This is number five. And let's say this is number six. All right, so let's listen, guys. Listen and tell me the number. Page 60, exercise four. Mm -hmm. Listening. I will move the camera. Which one is Justin? Part A. Listen to descriptions of six people. Number them from one to six. So keep looking. One. I think Chris is good looking. He's pretty tall with dark brown hair and he has a beard. I think he's about 30. Okay. Two. Courtney's 18. She has blonde hair, shoulder length and straight. And she always wears interesting hats just for fun. Mm -hmm. Three. Victoria is pretty tall for her age. She has curly red hair and always wears a baseball cap. She just turned 10. Four. Justin's in his 20s. He's fairly short and wears glasses. His hair isn't very long. Mm -hmm. Five. Mark is middle-aged. He's going bald and has a mustache. He likes to wear sunglasses. And he always wears a leather jacket. Six. Hannah is very tall and she has long black hair. She's around 25. Oh, and she's very slim. I don't think she wears glasses, but I'm not sure. Okay. So let's listen again. Listen again and let's describe them now. of six people. Number them from one to six. One. Chris is good looking. He's pretty tall with... So the first one is, of course, number five. You see, he's good looking. Uh-huh, they said. Chris is good looking. He's pretty tall he's... with dark brown hair. He's pretty tall with dark brown hair. This is dark brown. Are you sure, guys? هاد اللي صاوبو الكتاب عندهم عمل الوان ولا مالهم قالك دارك براون واش هذا دارك براون ذيس از بلاك سو اني وايز اتس فاين ميبي دي هاف انذر كوبي ولكن هادي لو لوريجينال يعني ما عرفتش انا دي هاف لايك بروبليم وذ اند هي هاز ا بيرد اي ثينك هيز اباوت 30 هي هاز ا بيرد اند شي سيد اي ثينك هيز اباوت 30 30 30 اوكي 30 ييرز اولد جود سو ذيس از نمبر 5 2 Courtney's 18. About 30. Two. Courtney's 18. Again? Two. Two. Courtney's She has blonde hair, shoulder length, and straight. And she also you heard that she has blonde hair shoulder shoulder length okay this one very good you know for women can go uh, she has she has uh, l uh, not long hair you know long hair maybe here you know short hair yeah here and here we say shoulder length okay you need tall the chef okay so maybe we say in Arabic I don't know so it's shoulder length okay yes What does she My nephew, my 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 nephew is playing with the cat with Eva. His name is Azar. Azar and Eva. They are playing. So shoulder length, yes, shoulder length. Yeah, I pinned it, finally. Oh, it takes too much to pin the comment. So she has blonde hair, shoulder length. Okay, shoulder length. It's okay. So, 
to 18. She has blonde hair, shoulder length and straight. And straight, you see, and straight hair. And she always wears interesting hats, just for fun. She always wears interesting hats, just for fun. Yes, she always wears, she always wears uh, interesting hats, just for fun. Yes, that's an interesting hat. Okay, good. Three. Victoria is pretty tall for her age. She mm -hmm. has curly red hair and always wears a cap. She just turned 10. Okay, again, this she, one, number she one. She has curly red hair and always wears... Listen again. Three. Victor Victoria yeah. is pretty tall for her age. She is pretty tall. She's very young. She's just, just 10 years old, okay? So you can see she's pretty tall for her age. Like my niece. You should see my niece, you know? You want to see my niece? You want to see my niece? <laughs> Let me show you my niece. She's, she's tall, than, taller than her age. Nihad! Nihad! Ajaj! Ajaj, Dria! Come! Ajaj! Ajaj, Ajaj! Ajaj, Ajaj! Ajaj, Ajaj! Ajaj, Ajaj! How, how tall are you? How tall are you? Let's talk in English. No! No, I'm sorry. 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 Yeah, so I'm longer when she's live, you know. <laughs> when she's live, she lost her English. 170, you know, 170. Yes. Maybe she's 70. I don't know if she's 70. I'm 166, so she's taller than me. But I look taller than her, so maybe she's 60, also 60 something. Yes. All right, so let's see. <laughs> yeah, that's my niece. She's tall. She's very tall. She's tall for her age. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. She's tall for her age. She's young. Yeah. Three. Victoria is pretty tall for her age. Mm -hmm. She has curly red hair and always wears a baseball cap. Oh, and always wears, you see, a baseball cap. She just turned 10. Oh, she just turned 10. Four. Justin's in his 20s. He's fairly short and wears glasses. His hair isn't very long. Mm -hmm. Let's listen again. Justin, yeah, it's this one, of course. Four. Justin's in his 20s. He's fairly short and wears glasses. Yeah, he's fairly short. Thank you so much, you know. She doesn't want to speak. She can speak some English, yes, but she lost her English in the life because she feels shy. So Justin is fairly short. Twenties. He's fairly short and wears glasses. He wears glasses, yes. His hair isn't very long. His hair, of course, isn't very long. It's a. It's a short, yes. It's very short or short hair. Five. Mm -hmm. Mark is middle-aged. He's going bald and has a mustache. He likes to wear sunglasses. And he always wears a leather jacket. Again? Mark is middle-aged. He's going bald. Middle-aged, you see? Middle-aged. So it's like medium age or middle-aged. You know, he's not old and he's not young. Bald and has a mustache. He's going bald. Did you hear that? He's going bald. <laughs> you know. So. Five. He's going bald. Mark is middle-aged. He's going bald and has a mustache. He's going bald and he has a mustache. Okay, see? Mustache. He likes to wear sunglasses. And he always wears a leather jacket. Mm -hmm. and he always wears uh, sunglasses and he likes to wear sunglasses and also a leather jacket, okay? Jacket del cuir, okay? Leather, remember? Leather jacket. Leather jacket, yeah. 
Nice. Last one. Six. Hannah is very tall, and she has long black hair. She's around 25. Oh, and... Of course, this one. Let's hear it again. So, she is... A... Six. Hannah is very tall, and she has long black hair. She's very tall, and she has long black hair. Okay. She's around 25. She's around 25, yes. H and... Oh, and she's very slim. I don't think she wears glasses, but I'm not sure. And you see, and she's very slim. This expression also we say to someone who is very thin. Also we say thin or slim, you know? Arqeq, okay? Men's, give me some good of fancy. So, arqeq. Slim, right? Say slim or we say thin. Okay, you can say he's thin, she's thin, or she's very slim. Okay, how slim can you go jean at slim? You know? So, thin, slim jeans. Or we can say, or slim. Slim. إلا كان شي عند رقيق اوكي كما تنقولوا دايجا لايك وي وي سي ان اربيك لايك رقيق يو نو يو كان سي سكيني يو ويل سي ات هير ان ذا كومنت اوكي سكيني سكيني شي از فيري سكيني اور شي از سكيني لايك شي دازنت ايت نو ايت نو نو ايتين نو فود يا تشيك ذا كومنت يا Thin or slim, and also it says like very slim, very thin, like you know, like uh, you know, we can say she is or he is skinny, right? Skinny, yes, right, guys? Yeah, okay, let's go. And uh, look, this writing you can maybe look, guys, when I post, not in the post group, when I post it in the group, you can answer this writing when I post it, okay? So uh, describe your physical appearance. You can do it later, okay? So you are helping to organize a special events at your school with sports, arts, and the surprise celebrity guest. Write an email to a friend, inviting him or her. Describe the celebrity. Don't give the celebrity's name, okay? Zwana, di bhal description. Di wahd description di celebrity. Shahd mshor at ardali di wahd levenmo. But don't say his name, okay? So someone should guess. La khore hawli yqla kimi tungulo. Uh, so try to write something about him, that person, to describe, to invite your friend, of course, and to describe the guest celebrity, okay? You can do it later, okay, guys? Yes. So, let's go to, I think we're going to skip this, let's go to the conversation, all right? Which one is she? Which one is she? All right, and this is a conversation between Brooke and Diego. Brooke and Diego. All right, so they are at a party, yes. People are dancing and having fun. So let's see what they are talking about. Brooke and Diego. Diego Armando Maradona, yeah, Diego. Page 61, exercise eight. Conversation. Which one is she? Part A, listen and practice. Hi, Diego, good to see you. Is Cora here too? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alana. Oh, let's go talk to my friend Paula. She doesn't know anyone here. Paula? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing a long skirt over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans and a scarf. She's standing near the window. Okay, I'd like to meet her. Right. Good. Again, so Brooke and Diego. Okay, let's explain it. Hi, Brooke said. Hi, Diego. Good to see you. Is Cora here? So she's asking about, she's talking to him and saying, is Cora here too? And he said, oh, she couldn't make it. Couldn't. Couldn't yell. Past of past deal can. She can't. Sorry. Can't. So couldn't. Can't. So she couldn't make it. She can't make it in the past, so she couldn't make it. And we say this to someone. Make it. She, she, I cannot make it. Okay, I can't make it. It doesn't mean make. No, it means that you cannot come. So if someone invites you, you can say, I'd love to, but I can't make it. You remember invitation? Like, 
Would you like to go to a movie with me tonight? Yes, I would love to, but I cannot make it. I will be late. I will be busy. Okay, we can call someone and say, Ah, I'm coming, but I'm coming in energy and the can I'm coming, but I can't make it. Okay, okay, also say I cannot make it in time. Alright? I cannot make it in time. I will be late. I cannot make it. Or I won't make it. I won't. I will not. I will not make it. Okay? So I can't make it. She couldn't make it. Alright? Yes. So she couldn't make it. She went. Yeah. She went to a concert with Alana. And then she said, Oh, let's go talk to my friend Paula. She doesn't know anyone here. Yeah, Paula? Where is Paula? And then he said, Paula, which one is she? Which one is Paula? Is she the woman wearing a long skirt? And here I want you to look at this Shukifesh de la description. Shukifesh de la description. Is she the woman wearing a long skirt? See? The woman wearing ing form. Okay? Is she the woman woman wearing a long skirt? This one? Is she the woman wearing a long skirt? And she said, no, she's the tall one in jeans. Look again. She's the tall one. Wow, that was a perfect line until the end and it was ruined. That's amazing. She's the tall one in jeans and a scarf. Yeah. You should know it's very hard to, to draw a line with this mouse, you know. Yeah. So... She's the tall one in jeans and a scarf. She's standing near the window. Yeah, so she's this one. She's the tall one in jeans and a scarf. Yeah, she's standing near the window. You know, near the window. Yes, see? And then he said, okay, I'd like to meet her. I'd like to meet her. See? So remember, how to follow the description of can do right now. Some structures, some sentences, some forms that we're going to say next in this one. Okay, so we have the woman wearing. She is she the woman wearing a long skirt, and she's the tall one in jeans and a scarf. Okay, she's the tall one in jeans and a scarf. All right. So now let's listen to the rest of the conversation. And I want you to tell me who is label. Label means give a name, you know, try to give a name to. Label, Liam, Hina, Sierra, and Matt in the picture. Okay, so who is Liam, Hina or Hina, Sierra, and Matt? Okay, so listen, guys, listen and tell me which one is, is who or which one is which. Okay, so who is the person? Let's Page 61. See. Exercise 8. Part B. Let's see. Listen Sorry. to the rest of the conversation. Label Liam, Hina, Sierra, and Matt in the picture. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So, again, if I tell you, so this is, you know, this is Brooke, this is Diego, and this one is uh, Alana. Yeah? Okay. Paula, Paula, sorry, this one is Paula. Alana is not here, she couldn't make it. So this is Paula, Brooke, and Diego. So let's label the other people. Let's see, who else? Do you know Liam? He's really nice. No, I don't. Which one is he? He's over there. He's the one wearing gray pants, a white shirt, and... And a light blue sweater? That's right. And then there's Hina Sasaki. She works with me at the office. Oh? Which one is Hina? She's the woman in a long dress. She's wearing glasses. Yeah, I see her. She's the one talking to Liam, right? Yep. And who are those two people dancing? Oh, that's my best friend. Her name is Sierra. She's really nice. That's a pretty red dress. And who's that guy dancing with her? That's Matt Seagal, her new boyfriend. Oh, that's her boyfriend? Yeah. Hey, didn't you want to meet Paula? Sorry, but which one is Paula again? <laughs> yeah, he's so, 
he saw Sierra and he forgot about Paula, you know. <laughs> Once he saw Sierra, then that's it, yeah. Sierra, it's like the name of the, of the fridge, you know. Sierra. Ah, Sierra, the name of the fridge. So once he saw her, he forgot about Paula. Yeah. So let's listen again. Okay, number them again. Tell me, label them again. Yes. Page 61. Exercise 8. Part B. Rest of the conversation. I want you to describe them. Okay, let's describe them. Label Liam, Hina, Sierra, and Matt in the picture. Let's see, who else is here? Do you know Liam? He's really nice. No, I don't. Which one is he? He's over there. He's the one wearing gray pants, a white shirt, and... And a light blue sweater? All right, very good. So he's the one here wearing a gray pants, you see? Gray pants, said well, gris. A white shirt. Yeah, chemise, so... White shirt, yeah, Tbergig al American, yes. It's not what Tbergig by the Nadia. Not a comment, Tbergig, Tbergig, who are gossiping, you know? Gossiping, remember this word, yes. What Tbergigo? Tbergigo, Bil Ameriki. Yeah, they are gossiping. Kibergo. Yes, so they are gossiping about people in the party, yep. So, Gossiping about their appearance, what do they look like, and whose boyfriend is whose, whose girlfriend is whose, yeah. And? And a light blue sweater? Yeah, so white shirt and a light blue sweater, you see? He's wearing, not wearing actually, just carrying a light blue sweater, right? That's right. And then there's Hina Sasaki. She works with me at the office. Oh? Which one is Hina? She's the woman in a long dress. You see, she's the woman, we can say, she's the woman wearing a long dress, or she's the woman in a long dress. So she's the woman in a long dress, here, see? She's wearing glasses. Yeah, I... Long yellow dress, and she's wearing glasses, okay? Yeah. See her? She's the one talking to Liam, right? She's talking to Liam. Yep. Yeah. And who are those two people dancing? Oh, that's my best friend. Her name is Sierra. She's mm. really nice. That's a pretty red dress. Yes, so she said, that's my friend. Her name is Sierra. And he said, that's a pretty long or a pretty red dress. Yes, red, beautiful means beautiful red dress. And who's that guy dancing with her? That's Matt Seagal, her new boyfriend. That's Matt her new boyfriend, and... Oh, that's her boyfriend? Yeah. Hey, didn't you want to meet Paula? Sorry, but which one is Paula again? Yes, yeah, sorry, which one is Paula? Okay, very good, all right. So, uh, Sierra is wearing a red dress, and she has long brown... And Matt is this one, yes. This is Matt, and he's wearing a gray jeans or gray pants maybe or dark green i don't know which color is this tell us females you know us blue shirt yes wearing glasses and he has a beard okay you can say this so he has a beard and a mustache okay so this is the description you can describe him by saying he's wearing a dark green or light green i don't know dark green or dark gray pants blue shirt he's wearing also glasses black glasses hina is wearing red glasses and he has a beard and a mustache mustache yes all right yeah good so let's see we we can also guys and show for the other can do a description so she found the طريقة اللي basic صغيرة يعني simple okay very simple like what does she look like she's tall with brown hair okay how tall is she how tall is he how long is her hair it's short it's long it's dark brown light brown what color is her hair okay right and also we can say age how old is she so these are very simple questions we can also here now use another 
form هنا نستعمل واحد لفورم اخرى اللي هما modifiers with the present participles and prepositions you will be like oh my god what's that yeah you know so modifier شنو modifier modifier هو كي موديفي كي موديفي لو نو داكور modifier هنا تلاحظوا معايا هنا look he is the man wearing the blue a blue shirt so this is a modifier هاد ال هاد ال هاد لا فورم كات موديفي ليا لو نو جات بحال لادجيكتيف اتس لايك ان ادجيكتيف سو ات موديفايز ذا نون سو ات جيفز ا ديسكريبشن تو ذا مان مان ويتش مان هي از ذا مان سو هو از دييغو هي از ذا مان ذاتس ات نو شت كونتينيو سو ذيس از ا موديفاير رايت سو موديفايرز ويز ذا بريزنت بارتيسيبل اند بريبوزيشن انا واش نقول شنو هو بريزنت بارتيسيبل هو بارتيسي بريزون اوكي دابا ملي غنشوفو الباست مرة جاية غنشوفو باست بارتيسيبل اللي هو بارتيسي باست اوكي باست بارتيسيبل از باست اوكي اتس ايدي رايت سو موستلي اتس لايك ايدي سو اتس لايك جو وينت غون اوكي يو ريمبر ذا مايكروفون اي تيك توك تيكن شيك شوك شيكن ويك ووك ووكن يو ريمبر تو ذا ستارز ام كرييتن يو نو ثينك ثوت ثوت سيك سوت Sought, listen to the lesson that I teach. Taught, taught. Don't sleep. Slept, slept. I creep, crept, crept. Remember, so crept. You know, uh, gone, spoken. These are past participles. Participle, past. Okay, past participles. We will use them. Not now. Okay. Remember. So, but here we have a, a present participle. What is present participle? It's very easy. It's just like the verb in the present. Okay. It's like ing. All right. So wear, wearing, talk, talking. Yes. Okay. Remember that. So here. So this is we can we can. We can do all the modifiers. At modifiers, the description. We can do the present participle. We can do the preposition. Preposition. Show me preposition. We do with, in, next to, on. And that's it. And we can describe. Okay. Very easy. So look at the example. We has we have who's Diego? He's the man. Wearing a blue shirt, okay. Wearing. See here, wearing a blue shirt. And then we have which one is Diego? Which one is Diego? So he's the one talking to Brooke. He's the one talking. So here, Makadosh and Gulu, he's the one who talk or talk to Brooke. Talk to Brooke. No, no, no. So he's the one talking to Brooke. Okay. So wearing and talking are present participles. Okay, present participles. So this is a modifier. Had a one modifier. Ki modifi diya adlo noya dal kilmadi. So wearing a blue shirt, talking to Brooke, they modify this noun. Okay, he's the man wearing a blue shirt. He's the one talking to Brooke. So these are modifiers with a participle, present participle. The bunch of modifiers with a preposition. With a Brooke is mia. فيرونا بروك راه غير سمية اوكي وي غنشوفو الباست بارتيسيبل في في البريزنت بيرفكت هاديك الساعه فين غنحتاجو الباست بارتيسيبل يس اوكي ناو ويت بريبوزيشنز هادي كتسمى بريبوزيسيون وهادي كلها بريبوزيشنال فريز يعني واحد الجملة ديال معرفتش نسميها انا كاع بالعربية اني وايز سو اتس بريبوزيشنال فريز اوكي سو هير فور اكزامبل هوز بروك We can say yes, Zara. We can say he's the one who is talking to Brooke. Well, can this be a clear? So can he do the who is? We can come up with participle, pre present participles. Okay. Present participle talking. He's the one talking. He's the one swimming. He's the one standing. He's the one wearing. He's the one running. He's the one driving a blue car. Okay. See, very easy. So who's Brooke? She's the woman with now. See, with long black hair. Okay. Yes, Zainab. I I will put the lesson and the, the exercise and everything on the group on Facebook. Dhul the group. We just can leave the link in the description of the live. Okay. You will find the link in the description. Yes. So she's the woman with long black hair. You see. Now we have which one is Paula? She's the tall one in jeans. Okay. It's not difficult. It's very easy, Arabic. Just follow. So, 
who are you see here who are the Harrisons they are the people next to the window see they are the people next to the window and we have here which ones are the Harrisons they are the ones on the couch okay on the couch you see Yes, present participle here is, is is verb plus ing. You see, so verb and ing that's a present participle, participe présent. Okay, so where, wherein, talk, talking. Okay, and this is a preposition, so with, in, next to, on, and you can use many, 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 many. All right, let's listen to it. Just follow the examples, guys. Yeah. Page six. Yes. Modify. It's not easy, really, Yusuf. It's very easy. description. Okay? So, he's the man. Like, who is Diego? He's the man. Which man? Okay? And this is the Hulul. جوج باش نوصف ماشي جوج ديال الحلو جوج ديال الطرق باش ندير الوصف نقول هذاك ولابس ليا بلو شيرت تيشيرت زرقاء شوميز زرقاء سو نقول هيز ذا مان وعندي شوميز زرقاء دونك كي غندير عندي جوج ديال الاحتمالات كنقدر نستعمل بارتيسيبل بريزنت بارتيسيبل دونك كنخدم الفيرب ديال ويرين اوكي ونقول هيز ذا مان بيرين ا بلو شيرت Okay. Oula. Je vais faire un petit peu de préposition. Je n'ai pas préposition. Je vais in, on, at, under, in front of, next to. Je vais les prépositions. Je vais faire un petit peu de temps. Je vais vous dire. Je vais vous dire. Je vais vous dire. Blue shirt. So, he's the man. Je vais vous dire. In. Je vais vous dire. 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 Je vais vous That's it. That's very easy. Okay, easy easy. <laughs> That's all. So, شفتو مثلا و كيهضر مع الاخر كيهضر مع محمد كيهضر مع عمر. So when you say he's the one بلا 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 عمر. So he's the one بلا 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 عمر. How can I say it? Can I نقولها؟ عندي جوج طرق. عزيز عليكم شرح الدارجة. تيجي ساهل. المهم مزيان بالنسبة للناس اللي ما فهموش. اللي فهمو مزيان. So And there is any participle, participle, okay? Any present participle, so I'm there. I will say blah, 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 my Omar. So I will say, he's the one talking, speaking with Omar, okay? And I'm going to do action, I'm going to do preposition. I'm going to say, 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 I'm going بغيت ما نوصفش اكسيون نوصف غير ليطا غنستعمل ان ولا اون ولا ويد ولا كذا داكوغ دونك هو ديجا كيهضر مع عمر نقول هيز ذا وان ويد اي كان سي ويد عمر هيز ذا وان ويد عمر رايت ناو يا هيز ذا وان ويد عمر رايت ناو اور هيز ذا وان سبيكين تو اور توكين تو عمر رايت ناو ذاتس ات يو سي دونك هادو الطرق دي زيكسبريسيون كيزيدوني في الفوكابيلير باش نقدر نوصف في طرق مختلفه سو اي كان ديسكرايب ان ديفرنت واي People, I can describe people in different ways. I'm not limited. How old is she? She's tall. She's brown. No, no. Don't collect to work for a couple. She wants to look. Look that man. You see him. Which one? He's he the one the one the one driving Dacia. You know. I think like he saw Dacia. Pega. I think like he saw Saik Dacia. She. Look at Saik Dacia. The one driving Dacia. Which one? There are two people driving Dacia. Can you just saw good Dacia? But not of which one. He's the one uh, next to uh, next to the next to McDonald's. Hada Magdo, okay, next to McDonald's. He's the one next to. I'm going to preposition. Ah, McDonald's. Can you just Hada Magdo? Which one? Ah, he's the one talking on the phone. He's the one speaking on the phone. Oh, really? There are five people speaking on the phone. There are five people speaking on the phone. How can I know? Oh, he's. The one in blue jeans speaking on the phone next to the window of McDonald's wearing sunglasses. 
You see? And that is the description. It's one way. I feel wearing sunglasses, speaking on the phone, standing next to, like, or next to McDonald's on the street in a Dacia car, for example. You see? So I'm giving you sentence. I think we're going to do present participle and also preposition. Okay? Yes. So this is for you know, for gossiping. We're talking about gossiping. This is our topic. You see? Yes. Okay, let's continue, guys. I hope, uh, I think it's very easy now. With present participles and prepositions. Participle. Yes. Who's Diego? Yeah, who's Diego? You see? He's the man wearing a blue shirt. Okay. Which one is Diego? Which one is Diego? He's the one talking to Brooke. Prepositions. Who's Brooke? She's the woman with long black hair. Which one is Paula? She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Harrisons? They're the people next to the window. Which ones are the Harrisons? They're the ones on the couch. Okay, yeah. That's it. So if you want to, for example, you know, gossip, but let's make it fun, you know. So it's on the corner. Yes? So you can say, for example, I don't know, or Saidi, my family, you know? So Saidi. Which ones are Saidi? They are the ones living on the corner. You know? They are the ones living. Don't go to the issue of Go to the commentary. What did I use? Semit. Present participle or a preposition? Yeah. So they are the ones living, be careful, living on the corner of the street. Yeah, they are the ones living on the corner of the street. So am I, am I using a preposition or am I using a present participle? Yeah. So I just used a participle. Very good, Yusuf. Yes. So I used the present participle. They are the one living. Yes. They are the one living. Yes. So we're going to do this. 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 We're going to do are the ones celebrating the marriage. You know, they are the ones celebrating the marriage right now. They are the ones celebrating, celebrating the marriage right now, you know? And then you can say also next to, like on next to, for example, you can say, uh, they are the, one, the ones next to the park. They are the ones next to the park. Next to the park. So this is a presence participle or a preposition. Was preposition ready or participe présent? Presence participle. So they are the ones next to the park. Which family are you talking about? Which family? In a family, which family are you talking about? I'm talking about the ones next to the park. I'm talking about the ones next to the park. So like we're talking like ah, they are like which family are you talking about? They are the ones next to the park. So I use the. Preposition, very good. So I use next to preposition. That's it. That's the way to describe. Okay, because which one, uh, which family are you talking about? They are the ones. You know, you cannot say they are the ones, and keep it open. No, you should say which one, which family. Okay, which one, which family. Right. So they are the ones next to the park. Yes. All right. <laughs> yeah, next to preposition. Very good. Very good. Nice. Yeah. Let's see. Let's do this exercise. Okay. Look. And the right idea. Let's change them. Okay. Let's change them. And we will understand this. Okay. Very easy. So we need to rewrite these statements, sentences using modifiers with participles or prepositions. Okay. 
Okay, and that's the answer. I have to be a Okay, fine. I'm happy to hear that. So, Kyle, look. And how long? Last call. We will match these sentences and put them, but we will have ensemble participles or prepositions. You can choose. So, Kyle. It depends on the sentence. Kyle is the tall guy. He's wearing a yellow shirt and brown pants. You see, can't fit the repetition because it's just too long. So, Kyle is the tall guy. Wearing a yellow shirt and brown pants. Can you imagine the way of the description? He looks just like the writing. Let's say writing the other. Kyle is the tall guy. Nota. He is wearing point. So he is wearing a yellow shirt and brown pants. So that's you know like that's kind of odd. You know, there are kicks we can see there are kicks. It's kind of a simple sample. Simple sentences. So it's better to connect them, connect and make it one sentence. So look here. We can say Kyle is the tall guy. See, tall guy, wearing, wearing a yellow shirt and the brown pants. That's it. So the tall guy wearing. So similar now. What did we use? We use a participle. Very good. All right. I hope it's clear. So we have a <coughs> participle here. Wow, very straight line. Another one maybe. Yes, it was very perfectly straight. Yes, I'm obsessed with straight lines. You see how straight they are. Nice. So this is a participle. Let's underline it. This one. Oh no, it's not straight. Of course, yes. We have just Eid al-Fitr, Eid al-Adha. No, 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 no third Eid. We have two Eids in the year. Now number two, Mark and Eve are the middle-aged couple. So they are Mark and Eve. Are the middle-aged couple? They are talking to Michael. You see, there is an action, and you have action on it. So they are talking to Michael, right? So Mark and Eve are Mark and Eve are the middle-aged couple. Yeah, like Mulia Jumla. Continue. Very good, Jalila. Mark and Eve are the middle-aged couple talking to Michael. Yes. Talking to Michael. Yes, very good. Okay, so this is a participle. Okay, this is a participle. Yes, very good. Adil, very good. Nor, very good. Sana. Yes. Now three. نقدرون سامله هو أسقط سوني هم زاوج. Oh, we can we use who? Can we use who? Yes, we can use who. So we can say they are the middle aged couple. Mark and Eve are the middle aged couple who are talking. ولكن نحن نحاول شو شو شو. كنحاول نحسن الاسلوب شو وصلنا واحد النيفو ذا ولكن نحسنوا الاسلوب دونكلي و تراي تو ميك اور ليفل جود اند بيتر يو نو كنحاول نحسنوا الاسلوب ديال السبيكين ديال الكلام وديال الكتابه كتابه كتابه ما عمرك جات الكلمه اول مره نقول لك كتابه ديما نقول لك كتابه اني وايز سو كتابه لايك رايتين اند يور سبيكين سو وي تراي تو امبروف ات سو ذيس ذيس مارك اند ايفا ذا ميدل ايج كابل Talking to Michael, that's much better than saying Mark and Eve are the middle-aged couple who are talking to Michael. And that's much, much better. Mark and Eve are the middle-aged couple and they are talking to Michael. No, no, no. You see? Mark and Eve are the middle-aged couple and they are talking to Michael. No. You see? So, it's better to use talking directly. Yes. So, let's see. Now we have Alexis is the young girl. See, Alexis is the young girl. Yeah. Alexis is the young girl. She's in a white t-shirt and blue jeans. So she's in a white t-shirt and blue jeans. Okay. Wait, wait, sorry. Shirt and blue jeans. Okay. And the best for clothes, I can use in. Okay. Yeah, or I can say wearing. I don't say wearing. So Alex is the young girl wearing a white T-shirt and blue jeans. Yeah. So we can say Alex is the young girl wearing a white T-shirt and blue jeans. Right? Or in preposition. Okay. So we can use preposition here. Now let's see number four. Brittany is the woman in the green dress. You see, Deja the Nala in the green dress. Deja and in a preposition. The woman in the green dress. 
she is sitting to the left of J Javier, or I don't know, like it's a Spanish name, you know, actually. So Javier. So Brittany again is the woman in. in she's sitting to the left of J Javier or Javier Javier. Javier. So in the green dress. Sitting, yes. So that's a participle. That's a participle. So the woman in the green dress uh, sitting to the left of Javier. See, don't can add the in the green dress preposition, and also I have a sitting to the left of Javier or Javier, right? Yep. Okay, number five. I hope you can hear me, guys. Yes. Yeah, we, yes, very good, Iman. We have preposition and particip present participle and, pre and, and participles at the same time. Yes. You see? You see, this one is going to help you to make your descriptions better. So you can say, she's the woman talking on the phone. She's the woman in blue jeans and the black t-shirt talking on the phone standing next to the shop with her umbrella you see okay it's very nice it's better than say she's the woman talking on the phone and she is uh, she has an umbrella and she is wearing blue jeans and she is wearing black t-shirt you see that's very very simple okay very simple now can i have a sample i'm kind of beginner okay can i give you can i give you so we're not longer beginners describe this review, yes, this we're not going to describe how to do a description sample, okay? So we will say like this, you see, so like she's the woman, we cannot say like she's the woman standing next to the shop, and no, she's she's that woman, she is standing next to the shop, and she is wearing black jeans, and she is uh, wearing also um, you know, black t shirt, and she has an umbrella. How many sentences? Like six, I think. Yeah, six sentences. You see? <laughs> okay. So it's better to say, you know, put them in one sentence and make it long, but not too long. But be careful. In writing, it's sometimes punctuation. Okay? Punctuation. But it's good to describe it like this. You sound like, wow, you're very uh, fluent. Like fl fluency, you know, like it's really fl You speak fluently. Okay? So she's the one standing. Which one? She's the one actually. She's the one wearing black jeans, um, blue. She's the one wearing blue jeans and the black T-shirt, standing next to the shop, with an umbrella in her hand. You see how I described it? It's very nice. So it's much, much, much better, better, better than the simple description. Okay, got it? Yeah, that's it. That's how we can improve. Yes. Okay. Don't get how no deal Okay, so JP, JP is the serious looking boy, he's playing a video game, okay, so he's the serious looking boy, and he is doing what, what he's doing, he's playing a video game, you can say, looking boy, playing a video game, alright, Yeah, we have to put punctuation. We have to put punctuation. You know, like comma, the virgule. Yes, yes, Mohammed. We have to. So JP is the serious-looking boy playing a video game. Yes. Ah, Mohammed, that's what you said. No, no, no. We don't have punctuation. We don't have punctuation. We don't have punctuation. We don't have punctuation. So Carl is the top wearing a yellow shirt and brown pants. So there is no punctuation here, Mohammed. You see, very good question. Yes. So bless the comma. Bless facile. So we don't do it, No. So Kyle is the tall guy wearing Nishan, okay? Wearing yellow shirt and brown pants. D'accord? So Nishan, we can do it. No, no, comma, no. Right? So here we have JP is a serious looking boy playing a video game. Yes. D'accord? Directly. 
All right? Yeah? I hope it's fine. It's what happened to my phone. Yeah. All right, guys. That's all. Let's stop here. Okay? That's all for today. And uh, thank you. That's all. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, we made it too long. Wow. Okay, guys, yes, just when you don't understand something, I try to explain it more. Okay, guys, thank you. Let's stop it here. That's all for today. I hope you got it. That was uh, Unit 9, uh, talking about describing people. Okay, and uh, we talked about two things. First, simple descriptions, how to describe people in a simple way. And second was how to describe using participles and prepositions all right using participles and prepositions remember that so uh, using this will make you describe better in a better way so participles of course with ing prepositions like in on at in front of next to behind many many okay of that yes all right so there are many prepositions that's it. This is how this is our unit. Just like a vocabulary description, you know, making it has a grammatical grammar. We have we didn't do a lot of grammar today. We didn't like grammar rules. You know? So it's just to add to your uh, speaking style. Okay, so you improve. You can improve your speaking and make your speaking and uh, uh, also maybe writing better. Okay, you can make it better. Okay, yes. Hungry? I have to go eat something to eat. You know, I didn't eat. Uh, I didn't eat. Like I was just picking something. Yes. So thank you guys. I will share with you. Stay with me. I will share with you. And I have a call with my friend in Russia, but she slept. My colleague. Yeah. I think she slept. Discussion. Yes. But I will talk to her tomorrow. So, anyways, guys, I will see you tomorrow. And uh, join me in the group. Join me in the group. It's in the description, and you will find the class and exercises for practice okay كما تنقول ديما حاولوا تدخلوا للجروب غتلقاو دابا الدروس اللي هما بالانوان اللي التصاور اللي في البوست اللي فيه الصور ديال الدرس اوكي و لو ليان غندير فيه الاوديو و لو ليان فيه الفيديو و لو بوست الاخر كيكونوا فيه لي زيكزيرسيس خدم 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 خدمتوهم حاولوا تخدموا زعما مزيان اتس فيري جود اف يو كان دو ذيم رايت يس yeah, today we did two hours. I don't know why, because it's taking too much time. Yeah, let's try to make the lives just one hour, 20 minutes maximum. I don't, I, I'm really tired. I cannot do two hours, okay? So one hour, 20 minutes. Okay, guys, thank you. Join me in the group. I will share with you the class and the audio class, audio and the video and also the exercises for practice, all right? And that was unit nine. Thank you, guys. I'll see you tomorrow with its practice, with the practice for unit nine. Uh, which was called uh, what does she look like yes that's it thank you guys i'll see you tomorrow okay teacher sam was live and i'll see you catch you tomorrow for practice and uh, one last thing is the we will agree on the time okay and there was a little post a little time on let's decide which time we will change h30 or 9 30 okay h30 or 9 30 yep okay see you guys bye bye have a good night thank you yes yeah, I need to cut my hair. That's true. I saw that. Yeah. I will cut it. Okay, maybe tomorrow. And maybe tomorrow you say that you're mine. You realize I can change. And go, go look with the other audience. Maybe tomorrow. You know? And maybe tomorrow. Deal with life. Yeah. And maybe tomorrow you say that you're mine. Maybe tomorrow I'm going to cut my hair. Yes. Thank you, guys. See you. Bye bye. <laughs>